Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are talking all about my net worth at 30 years old. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Reza. I usually make videos all about personal finances, so if you're into that, please make sure you're subscribed down below. Okay, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I did make a video all about my net worth at 29 a couple months ago. A lot of you seem to really like that video, so I wanna make an updated version because that video is slightly outdated and I also put some music over top of me speaking and everyone in the comments is like take the music out you don't need it so i wanted to redo the video and i've got some new numbers to share with you so if you want to see that then just keep on watching as i mentioned i did make this video earlier in the year and in that video i talked all about scarcity and abundance mindset and a little bit about my background so if you want to see that i will link the video here for you guys i personally like watching these videos because they inspire and motivate me to go after my own personal financial goals so i hope you guys find this video helpful and the last thing that i'll say is all of these numbers are in Canadian dollars. If you guys don't know what a net worth is, it is essentially all of your assets minus your debt and that would be your net worth. So I will be touching on all of the accounts that I have minus my checking account because I think my checking account changes and I try not to keep a ton of money in my checking account because I like to put it either in my emergency fund or in my investing account. So in this video, we'll talk about my retirement savings account or my RRSPs, my tax-free savings account or my TFSA, my cryptocurrency, my emergency fund, the stocks that I own in my company, and then lastly, any other assets that I have. And then we'll also be talking about the debt that I have as well. So the first account I'm going to be talking about is my RRSP and that stands for Registered Retirement Savings Plan. It's essentially an account that you can put money into that you can use when you are retired. If you're in the States, you can think of this as your 401k. And I have two RRSP accounts because the first one was from my previous employer that I had eventually moved into a World Simple account. And then the second one is with my current employer, which is with Desjardins. So the first RRSP is with World Simple. This is currently invested right now. And back in March when I made that video, I had $9,938 in this account. And today I currently have 10,381. So it has increased by 4%, which is quite nice because the money is just sitting there being invested and making money for me. It's not a big amount by any means, but it is something. And I'm not touching this account at all, nor am I adding money into it. I'm just letting it sit there and letting any dividends grow over time. And then the second RRSP that I have is with my Desjardins account. And back in March, I had $49,100 in this account. And today I have $61,026 in that account. So an increase of about 24% in this account, which is great. I currently have an automatic payment for my paycheck gets tax of 6% going into this account. And my employer also matches this contribution up to 50%. And that's definitely a big reason why this account has been growing over the last few months. So if you do have an employer that matches your RRSPs, I think that that's a great option to do because it's essentially free money. The second type of account that I have is a tax-free savings account. So this is essentially money that is post-tax. So after all the government taxes, this is your take-home pay. And I usually like to put about $200 bi-weekly into this account. And back in March, I had $38,307 in this account. And today I now have $49,598. And that is an increase of about 29%. I've definitely been prioritizing this investing account because I want to grow my money. Last year, I only started putting $100 into this account and I wanted to double that this year. And if you're curious about the stocks and ETFs that I buy, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm happy to make a video like that for you. I usually buy the same two ETFs ETFs and stocks. I will link my Wealth Simple link down below if you guys are interested in joining. And the next account I want to talk about is my cryptocurrency. And if you remember back in 2021, there was a big cryptocurrency craze and I kind of fell for that. And I put in quite a bit of money into this account and it was growing and growing until obviously now it's pretty down. So back in March, I had about $8,175 into this account and currently I have $8,782 and as you can see we're actually up 7% from my previous video but we're comparing it to all time I'm actually down by 40% in this account as you can see so not the best investment but I don't think I'm gonna do anything with this I've not been adding into this account over the last year and I haven't really been prioritizing it so I'm just gonna let the money sit there and see if the crypto market increases at all it's it's not the best investment and I'm just going to leave it there and see what happens. 
getting into my company stocks. So I do work a nine to five and my company allows me to buy stocks. And back in March, I had about $14,766 in this account. And today I have $32,891. I think that the stock has just been performing quite well. And I've also been contributing about 9% into this account. And that's why the account has grown to 123% since my previous video. The last account that I want to talk about is my emergency fund. If you've been following along, you would know that I have been putting a lot of emphasis on my emergency fund. I like to have about three to six months of my living expenses saved up in my emergency fund just in case anything happens. So I have been putting down about $200 every paycheck into this account. And I've had to dip into this account for the last couple of months because there has been some emergencies that we've had to pay for. So. My goal at the beginning of this year was to have about 20,000 saved into this account. And given that it's September, I don't know if I will be hitting that goal. So back in March, I had $12,252 in this account. And today I'm at 11,491. So we are down 6% compared to my previous video. I'm not too bothered by this because everything that I used my emergency fund on is for emergencies. So it, make sense and i i'm just not tying myself to that 20k goal because i don't know if that's going to be achievable for me so what i'm going to do is i will continue to put in 200 dollars bi-weekly into this account and any like extra funds that i get i will be putting into this just to get really close to that goal but i don't know if we are going to hit that goal by the end of this year and then in terms of other assets so I did buy myself a pretty expensive watch this year and it was for my 30th birthday. I will link the video here if you guys missed it or haven't seen it before. But essentially I treated myself to a Cartier watch. It was a really big treat yourself moment, obviously, but I decided that this is what I wanted to gift myself for my birthday. So no regrets there, but it is a pretty expensive watch and I did add it into my net worth list. So if I were to sell this watch, I think I'd get about $15,000. That is a rough estimate. I know it can go a bit lower than that or a little bit higher than that. I'm just putting down $15,000. So that is something that didn't exist in my previous video. So I don't have a comparison for that. So the total for all of my accounts and all of my assets is $189,169. But that is not my net worth because I do have some debt. I do have a car payment that I split with my partner. So we did purchase a car back, I wanna say in 2021, and we have been paying this off every single month. So we currently owe about $25,000 in our car loan. And back in March, we owed about 30,000. So we did pay off about $5,000 over the last few months. And I do split this with my partner 50-50. So I personally owe $12,500 today. So in total, my net worth, which is my assets minus my debt is $176,669. And back in March, my net worth was around $102,538. So there has definitely been an increase in my net worth, which is really good to see. If you were curious, my financial goals for the remainder of the year is to pay off some of my car loan. I don't think we'll get through all 25,000 this year, but just continuing to pay this off as well as putting more money into my investing account as well as my emergency fund to ensure I have around three to six months of living expenses saved up. So yeah, that is my net worth at 30 years old. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you guys have any questions for me, please make sure to leave them in the comments down below and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye you guys.